How's it going YouTube? This is Alex coming at you for TVAPE TV in the studio with another very special video for you today. Today we have the Vape Dynamics dip. I dip, you dip, we dip. I'm sorry, right off the bat. A couple of things I wanna let you know about before we get started. Number one, this poster is getting given away. The contest is going on. We are giving it away in the next video. So please do get your likes, comments, and subscribes in before next week. By the end of this week, we will be cutting off contest entries. So please do get that in there. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button and throw us a like at any point if you enjoyed the video. Let's get into it. First of all, we're gonna go over what's in the box. So first of all, in the box is this nice travel case. It is very sturdy. Inside of it, you are going to find the dip itself, complete with carb cap and tether. I assembled that, it's not complete with, you know, some assembly required. There's also a wall charger. There is also an extra atomizer, some cotton swabs, a USB-C charging cable, and a hefty dab shovel. As with any device, we highly recommend charging it fully before your first use. Next, you're gonna remove the bubbler from the top of the e-rig and fill it up with water just enough to cover the holes. When you get it new, there's a sticker that shows you a fill line. I would say it's roughly half an inch but just make sure you're covering the holes. Then you're gonna replace the bubbler back on the device, making sure to line up the air intake hole with the hole on the inside of the base. Tap the button on the front of the device three times rapidly to turn it on, and then tap it once to change between temperatures. Once you have selected your temperature, hold the button for three seconds and it will begin to heat up. It'll do that cool light thingy to let you know it's happening. It will vibrate when it reaches temperature, then you're ready to inhale, and you can work the carb cap for better airflow. And a travel stopper. So the dip actually has two different atomizers. It has a dry herb atomizer and a concentrate atomizer. The concentrate atomizer comes with the device. The dry herb atomizer is something you can purchase separately. But the dip will recognize which atomizer you have put into it and change the temperatures accordingly. Regardless, there are four temperature settings. In concentrate mode, blue is 450 degrees Fahrenheit or 232 Celsius. Green is medium at 500 Fahrenheit or 260 Celsius. Purple is medium high at 550 Fahrenheit or 288 degrees Celsius. And white is 600 Fahrenheit or 315 Celsius. It's a pretty wide range of temperatures. The dip hits pretty hard. It works well, but the claim of it being the most powerful dual use e-rig vaporizer there is on the market is a little off. Most e-rigs now can pump out a serious amount of clouds, but what I would argue separates the good from the great is excellent flavor and simple maintenance. The atomizer for extracts is stainless steel. It doesn't provide great flavor by any means. The dry herb atomizer is ceramic, which is okay. It definitely rips, but it does deliver a very middle of the road conduction flavor profile. Overall, I would say the dip can rip, but it trips over the lip of great vapor. I'm so sorry. I mean, I planned that, but I'm still sorry. Well, I guess what I'm trying to say is it definitely gets the job done, but not with the sweet, sweet flavor of some other e-rigs on the market or a dedicated dry herb vaporizer. Vape Dynamics has had a number of products over the years that have had very mixed results in terms of manufacturing quality. I'm happy to say the dip seems like it's built pretty well. Namely, the fact that it comes with a carb cap tether, the tightness of the fit of the bubbler, and this travel stopper. A lot of e-rigs would benefit from having a travel stopper, and I haven't seen it on too many. I certainly like the look of the device, and it does seem to be machined well. It doesn't quite have the premium feel of the Puffco Peak Pro, or even the Focus V Carter. The accessories included are decent for the price, and obviously it doesn't cost as much as either of those two units, but I'm just saying. The battery life is where this guy really shines. The dip has a 4200 milliamp hour battery that will last you roughly 40 to 45 sessions before needing a recharge. That's pretty awesome. In fact, I think it's the biggest I've seen on an e-rig. It does take four hours to recharge via that USB-C cable that comes with it, but it's a small price to pay for 40 sessions before needing a recharge. The light at the front of the device will let you know where your battery's at. White means anything above 25%, 
and red means anything below 25%. In terms of portability, the DIP is another e-rig with another case with another recommendation from me that you should only take your e-rigs from place to place before using them. The cap for the bubbler will allow you to leave water in the bubbler when you're carrying this guy around, which I think is cool, but I would strongly hazard against keeping it full of water, putting it in the travel case, tilting it horizontally and risking getting any sort of water in the atomizer or the atomizer housing. Again, like I say every time, empty the water out, put it in your case, take it from one place to another place, then fill it back up again, just like if you were gonna take a water piece around. The dip is super easy to use, three taps to turn it on, one tap to change between temperatures, press and hold to get it to heat up, it's not rocket science. Just like any other e-rig, make sure you align that intake hole with the hole on the inside of the housing. And for maintenance, just make sure that you're cleaning out the bowl as frequently as you can. I would love to say every session, but who's got the time? You know, who's, who's cleaning it out every single time? I don't blame you if you don't. I can't say I clean it after every session, but you will definitely increase the longevity of your device if you do. All in all, I would say the DIP is a decent middle of the road e-rig. It gets the job done, not with any flash or aplomb. The vapor is not fantastic, but it does taste okay. If you're looking for a dedicated two-in-one e-rig that you can use with dry herb or concentrate, this one comes to mind, the Carter comes to mind. Even units like the Utilion 722 do a really good job although there is no water filtration, so I get that angle 100%. But it is a dependable device with a whopping 4,200 milliamp hour battery, and it does come with a decent amount of kit. Like I said, I think the most exciting thing to me was that little stopper for the bubbler, so you can carry it around and not worry about splashing it anywhere. And that's it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Guys, throw us a like, subscribe, get a poster. It's that easy. I'm gonna raffle off this Deadpool poster next week. So get your votes in. And by votes, I mean comments. And by comments, I mean talk about whatever you want. If you liked the idea from the last video, which was a sweater full of the terrible comments I've received on YouTube, I mean, write that down in the comments. I kind of wanna actually do that. If you think I missed anything, if you'd like to see a different vaporizer review, throw that in the comments. Until next time, my name's Alex for T-Vape TV, and for all you connoisseurs out there, keep vaping.